Awesome Chat is brought to you by Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com. Hey guys, it's the awesome chat. Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here once again in Alpha Lab. And there's a coffee club going on. You might see, see some people hanging out back there um, doing some awesome stuff. Going to be talking about Rhesus Technologies. And we're going to be talking about your hair today. Uh, but please check everything out. Awesomecast.net. Subscribe to this and the regular Awesome Cast, iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, iHeartRadio, and video versions on the Facebook and YouTube channels. And of course, please check out the live show of the main Awesome Cast, live.awesomecast.net, every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. So uh, I'm here with Rhesus Technologies. Introduce yourself. So, what, what do you do with Rhesus? Well, my name is Marcus Jeter. I'm the founder and CEO of Rhesus Technologies. Um, we're a company that decided to create an online platform to make it easier for mobile on-demand stylists to connect with the everyday consumer. So therefore, if a person is enabled to make it to a shop or salon, they'll be able to download our app, pick up stylists and barbers within their area, review their work, and have them come to them, whether it be their uh, house, office, wh whatever is easier for them, we want to be able to bring the stylist to you. That's awesome. So it, it, it's, it's stylist on demand. Pretty much. So, <laughs> uh, so, 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 tell me, tell me a little bit about how the process works. Well, the process is, is very simple. Um, you, you'll go and download the app. The app actually will be available at the end of October, but right now we are signing up people just for the services. Um, so you'll download the app. You'll be able to see certain stylists, certain shops, and barber shops, and, and uh, salons uh, in your area. You'll be able to review their work, and then you'll be able to book your appointment. Now, the best thing about it, you can book it to either go to their location if they're in a the shop, or you can have them come to you, um, obviously at a premium rate, but to, for the convenience and the travel factor. So we just want to make it more easier for people to stay beautiful. We want to keep America beautiful one head at a time. This is a, a, a concept I'm seeing a lot, like the, the grand concept I'm seeing this lot of, of, of like taking a serv service and kind of um, loosening it from the nine to five in the shop kind of thing and, right. and come to your home, come to your office. Um, like I, I just saw an app the other day that did a mechanic that comes to your home kind right. of thing. Um, so, so where did this concept come from for you guys? Well, you know, it, it wasn't too long ago when I was fresh out of college, I was trying to make a name for myself. So I was working well over 60 hours a week, but appearance is everything. Unfortunately, if you're working long hours, it's difficult to get a haircut especially in an area that you may not be familiar with. So luckily for me, I was able to get in contact with a barber. He was new in the area, but he was really good. But you know, when you're new, how do you really market yourself? You know, right. you can only really rely on walk-ins at the shop that you're currently at. And then if you're new, you have to kind of wait for everyone else to go to their normal barbers they go to. So, you know, he would actually come to me. I would pay that premium for him to give me a haircut during later hours because it was the only time I was able to get it, get my hair done. So it kind of made me start to think, you know, who else would want to use the services? Who else would be in that predicament to where they're always busy and not able to make it to a shop or salon? So that's kind of how the idea started. We actually learned that there's a lot of stylists and barbers in the community who does freelance styling, whether it's for weddings or they just like to go to a friend's house to do their haircut. So now we figure, hey, it's easy for us just to connect those mobile on-demand stylists to that everyday consumer who may not be familiar with the area or may not just have the time to be able to go to a shop or salon. So everything's been working out pretty good. We've actually just started this in February. Mm -hmm. um, we have 50 mobile stylists signed up and 25 shops within the Pittsburgh area signed up. Nice, and this is all regional to Pittsburgh right now, right? This is all just in the area of Pittsburgh. We want to test that out first because it's kind of a slower market. Yeah. Um, and then we have plans to venture into Philadelphia as well. We want to try to capture the whole Pennsylvania uh, within the next 12 to 15 months. Awesome. So what's the general reception from people when they find out, like as far as the stylists themselves, when they find out about this, uh, this service? Oh, they're excited, especially stylists. Could you imagine they've been doing this for years already with no real technological platform to help them out as far as scheduling or getting new leads and mm -hmm. consumers? So this product is for the, the, the today's stylists. You know, they're able to, to uh, promote their skills. They're able to search for new leads. And if you're in a stylist or a barber who's currently looking to find a new shop to work at, we'll be able to connect you with shop owners and uh, salon owners as well within our platform. So That's great. They're really excited about it. The consumers, they're just as excited about it as well because who wouldn't 
like someone to come to their house to do their haircut. I mean, I, it makes I was, life so much easier, right? I was telling you before, my co-host <laughs> on the Awesome Cast, he's very busy as a kid. And uh, he, he, like, I, he, I told him about the general concept for you guys. He's like, I'm completely going to use that. Because <laughs> I, I, I can't get away from the kid to get to do this. And and his wife works at a stylist, like a salon. <laughs> so, okay, so he, he probably already knows. She probably does a lot of freelance styling. Right, right, she right. right. Definitely so, you know, it, it, kind of a spa kind of thing. So, like, you can't even get in there. Like, no, because she's working. So, right. obviously, somebody has to watch the kid, right? So... Um, that's, that's great. That's awesome. Um, so what's the deliver going to be like? So you're going to be, uh, by probably by the time this releases, it sounds like maybe you might have a, a application out there. Yeah. For consumers. Um, the application will be actually released when we're doing our demo day, on October 26th. You want to kind of do it that same day. Nice. Um, just to keep the buzz up. The first version will be for Android. We'll test that out. And then the f iOS and Android should be completed fully by 2017. That's good. That's good. Um, what made you, uh, like, did the app just kind of seem like the, the, the natural way to do this? Well, we wanted an electronic platform, so we wanted to be able to do it web-based. But, you know, mobile apps is just where the millennials are going to nowadays. Right. Every time you see them, they're on their phone. I'm part of that millennial uh, group as well, so I'm always on my phone. So we just want to kind of predict the future. We feel like everything's going to be done on the phone uh, in the future, so why not be able to get your haircuts on your phone as well? <laughs> awesome. And of course, we're here in Alpha Lab. You guys are part of the cycle here. You mentioned Demo Day coming up here. Um, kind of what attracted you to this program uh, for, for what you're doing? Uh, mainly the mentors. I've seen that they've helped out a lot of startup companies such as No Way, Roris, Jazz. Um, I wanted to be a part of that community, um, just a startup community within Pittsburgh itself. I've read up on Jim Jen. I read up on Aaron. Um, the, the program was, was wonderful. So I was just excited just to be a part of that startup program. You know, like I stated before, we just started this in February. So I started to talk with Alpha Lab in March, and they told me that they had a program coming up. And they honestly, I didn't think we were ready for the program. When Aaron said, hey, just try it out, you know, yeah. um, and see, what, see where you can go. I mean, literally, when I went to Aaron, the only thing I had was a business plan. Like, I didn't, I didn't have no product. I had no team. I had no <laughs> direction on which way I wanted to go. So, you know, by me coming in Alpha Lab and talking to Aaron and going to the office hours, and this is even before we got in Alpha Lab, they actually helped me get a direction on how to get started on the project. They said, you want to get nice. a team? You want to do this? Um, do that. So I just kind of dotted my eyes, crossed my T's, and followed their plan work, and I was able to actually get in get into Alpha Lab because of their uh, guidance. And since I've gotten Alpha Lab, is really accelerated our company to a uh, place that I didn't even think we would be to. Nice. So you really kind of got zero to 60 here over the yeah. over the course there, like a <laughs> business plan to a functional. Actual you know, product, actual to actual product. stylists that we have signed up now, wow. to consumers, to a website. I mean, this is things that if you asked me in February, we would have had to complete it now would have said no at least give us another year or two before we get to that point. So <laughs> That's great. I'm really excited about our opportunity and the chances that we can have once we finally get the app up and running. Great, great. Um, so I, I say, you know, there's a great startup community here in Pittsburgh. Alpha Lab is, is, is a part of really kind of spurring that, I think, a lot, too. Um, you know, can you tell us a little bit about the community? How helpful was that? Does that is, is that something that made you kind of get that? What kind of got you the spirit of, to start something up like that? Well, yeah, I mean, the, the community is wonderful, especially when you have things like this with, mm -hmm. uh, um, you know, the, the coffee hour open house, because you get to mingle and talk to other people who are like minded, like mm -hmm. yourself. Um, and you don't get to do that every day in, in every day's world. Not everyone's thinking outside the box. Most people have that nine to five mindset, meaning I have to go to work, I have to clock in, I have to clock out, I have to get ready for my life. Whereas, you know, all these people are thinking, hey, I want to start my own business. If I have to do this 24-7, 365, I'm willing to do whatever it takes to get my business up and running. And that's the mindset that I like to be around because it helps nurture my mindset as well and keeps me focused on the goals that I want to accomplish within my own company. And even your app kind of lends to that, uh, you know, shed the nine to five mindset, too. Right. Because much like, you know, we're looking at on the driver's side of Uber and, and, and some of these other things, like a stylist coming up can right. say, I, yeah, I want to I want to do this here, but I have a weird schedule thing here. So like they can really kind of do something that most to how they want to do their thing. Absolutely. We want to be able to cater it towards the new age stylist. We feel this could build their brand, build their uh, clientele and just help nurture their overall business. So eventually if they do want to become their own shop or salon owner, mm -hmm. they'll be able to do so with our platform. Starting a business is hard. 
It is. Especially startups, <laughs> especially in this, this economy, this day and age, you know, as they say, all the, all the, you know, usual stuff. What was kind of the most surprising thing, maybe the hardest thing that we were like, oh, that's something I have to do now as part of a business? All the legal jargon. <laughs> oh. Oh. I mean, it was just when I started, you know, I wanted to do this and that, this and that. Like I had the whole game plan outlined except for the legal aspect. I didn't know what I was actually allowed to do and yeah. not allowed to do. Um, for example, there's a lot of laws just within, um, you know, the barber and cosmetologist community itself where they're not allowed to do certain things. So one thing that we've actually discovered is even though there are a lot of freelance mobile stylists, they're actually doing it illegally because they have to be sponsored, connected to a shop or salon really? to be able to do so. This is something I didn't know either. But, you know, the more and more I've mentioned into the business, I've learned that. So now with our app, um, our product is actually affiliated with a few shops, like I said, the 25 shops within Pittsburgh. So even if they're not connected to with uh, their own particular shop or salon affiliated through our app, they'll be able to allow to do the freelance services legally within Pennsylvania. So... How does that process work? Do they become kind of an affiliate of these shops? Or? Well, the best thing about stylists and barbers is that they're already independent contractors. Right. So as long as they're an independent contractor and they're not um, obligated with any contract to the stylist that they're working with now, they're able to do so. So okay. some stylists and barbers won't be able to do it. Yeah. But mostly, if you're an independent contractor, then you'll be able to use our platform and be able to legally do those services. Interesting. And then this is a process that if somebody's already into being a stylist, they probably already figured it out for them, yeah. themselves. Yeah, that's so. a, something that, you know, we wouldn't know until we actually started getting into the business. Right, right. Or ones that maybe that was a barrier for them. You're actually also, I want to say, greasing the wheels, I yeah. guess, for them to get their foot in the door right. to do it legally yes. as well. Right. So, so you are legitimizing the rest of the stylist industry <laughs> yes, yes, that we, we didn't know was <laughs> the illegal stylist injury <laughs> industry. So uh, there you go. Look at that. It's a public service on top of everything else, right? <laughs> so <Yes, it> <laughs> that's fantastic. That's fantastic. Well, tell people, um, like I said, uh, by the time this releases, it sounds like you have an app out and everything like that. Where can people um, find more information? All right, well, make sure you go to www.mystylistapp.com. You'll be able to get all the information there. Uh, sign up. We'll put you on our email list, and we'll send you the app, especially if you have an Android. <laughs> <laughs> Why Android first? Uh, well, Android first because we just figured most of the stylists that we had in our network own an Android, so okay. it's just been easier for us. Um, but there was no real scientific thinking mm -hmm. behind that <laughs> it's kind of like an eeny meeny but right. no, we, but you have a little bit of user feedback so yeah we looked at our sense. list and yeah. said okay well most Obviously. people have android let's just go with this at first <laughs> awesome awesome thanks go check them out or if you're in pittsburgh area get your hair cut you, you, you probably need it like i do uh <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for joining me go check out his uh, awesome awesome company uh thank you to my awesome guests you've been our awesome audience have an awesome week <laughs>